Welcome. I am the keeper of the sacrifice. I ensure that the covenant made is sealed on legacy. Why would you come and watch a video, love the video, and be blessed by the video and refuse to like the video? We can do that now. Let's change the mentality. Even as you're watching me now, click the like button. If you're watching over a telly, log in on your phone and click the like button. The more they like, the more the videos go around the world and are recommended across the globe. Don't you want people to be blessed by this same content? Then like. Share the video on your various social media platforms. Your subscription matters a lot to the growth and the development and also to the spread of the gospel of Christ. Do well to subscribe. If you are still seeing the subscription button, it shows you've not subscribed. And how do we grow this without you? And I'm sure the next movie you're about to watch is going to bless you richly. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. God bless you. Are you in dire need of gaining knowledge about filmmaking? Do you have a burning desire to be a force to be reckoned with in the social media space for God? Do you have passion for gospel drama? Do you want to have experience, skill, and training to your call? Here, Here is your hands and solution. solution. The Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop. FTW. A platform for raising kingdom giants for the end time harvest of souls through the media. The theme for this year's session is Kingdom, kingdom Relevant. Relevant. Come and enroll with us for the basic certificate course. An advanced certificate course. For those who have undergone the basic course. courses include script writing, screenplay, acting, social media sensitization, and a host of other fantastic courses. You also stand the chance of featuring in our upcoming movie project after graduation. Opportunities also abound for shooting your own short movie. What are you then waiting for? 2022 academic session is coming up by August 7th till August 14, 2022 at Haigomo, Halapa, Akure Road, Undo City. Tuition fee is 21,000 Naira only. This covers for lecture materials, accommodation, and certificates. Food will be available for sale at affordable prices. For more information, call the following number 081 684 76985 or 070 644 0050. The Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop, an academy where men and women are raised for kingdom purposes and relevance. God bless you. As you prepare to watch this movie, listen to the following instructions. Number one, you advise to fast while you watch this movie. Number two, don't watch this movie without your jota and your pen. Number three, if you are watching this film in a large gathering in a church video, please let the ushers and the protocol team be very, very conversant with the crowd so that through the manifestation of God's power that we emit from this screen, there will not be any you know, manifestation that can lead to people injuring themselves. Number four, each part of this movie is going to be accompanied with a vigil every Friday. The Friday next to this Sunday is a vigil. VG for part 3, VG for part 4, VG for part 5. On YouTube, Pejus Baba TV, between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Nigerian time. The part 3 is titled Voice of Sacrifice. The part 4, Strength of the Altar. The part 5, Sacrifice against Sacrifice. It's my prayer that the Lord will bless you mightily as you get set for this deliverance section through the movies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.
But John, any upgrade from the realm of the spirit? Mm. It's going to be altar versus altar. Sacrifice versus sacrifice. Voice versus voice. If it took somebody to start it, then somebody can stop it. And that person is me. Oh, that person is me. Yeah, that person is me. I eventually got in contact with Cam, and we discussed that length. <laughs> what did you discuss with him? He told me everything about Zero's family, and he told me how Zero's was sent out of the house. <laughs> did he tell you that Zero's raped his mom and used half of money ritual? He told me, but <sighs> for John, how could he do that to his own mother? <laughs> it's not Zero's. It is the pattern in their lives. You see, later today, we are going together. There's a revelation the Lord showed me I would like to share. I'll be glad to be here. The question on my mind is, how was I born into this family? Gideon was packaged by God to be a church in his trip. But he found himself in a family that had already raised a strange altar. He did not choose his place of birth. He did not choose his parents. And Gideon, even though he had God's hand on him, he could not become what he was created to become. He joined the toiling in the family. He encountered poverty, even though he was destined to be rich. <sighs> and when Gideon had an encounter with the angel, he asked the same question that many people still ask today. Like, why am I going through all this if God is with me and if I'm a Christian? And that's because our fathers have sinned and we are now suffering for their sins. They used their tradition to render the word of God of no effect due to strange altars. But that is barbaric. <laughs> that may be the reason why every company worker has been dying at age 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been difficult getting any willing staff to work with us. Mm. <sighs> Will I be able to conceive? <laughs> Ma, once the altars are destroyed, once the sacrifice is removed and the voice is silenced, they will now begin to rule over what once ruled over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say after me. Mm. I silence every voice. I silence every voice. Speaking against me. Speaking against me. On strange altar. On strange altar. In Jesus' name. In, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. I silence every, I silence every voice. voice. Speaking against me. On every evil altar. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's do dance together. Let's all dance together. It is a warfare prayer. And the Lord shall answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, sacrifice attracts spirits. Do you understand? Mm. We're going to pray. I burn down. I burn down. Every sacrifice. Every sacrifice. That has attracted strange spirits. Into my life. In Jesus' name. Pray. I burn down. Every sacrifice. That has attracted strange spirits. Into my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I burn down every sacrifice. I burn down every offering that has attracted strange spirit. No! 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 What is it? Why are you disturbed? Fire! 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 Fire in your territory? Who are those? John? Yeah! 
John, what is your problem? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to destroy what you have been keeping. And many times with that numbers, you have destroyed it. So what else? But you see, these patterns and experiences begin again after a while. <laughs> of course, you cannot successfully destroy an altar. I can never subscribe to that lie. I cannot destroy an altar. Then what did Jesus come for? Shut up! And not shut me up. I am proposed and determined to destroy what you have been keeping. I think I've had enough of you. You really need to see someone else. Come. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Don't worry. Thank you, my Kiba. Welcome. I am the keeper of the sacrifice. I ensure that the covenant made is sealed on Lega Grand. Sit down. Hi, hi. I was, I was sent a... Uh, the... Oh! The keeper of the altar sent you. <laughs> Sit down. Why are you here? Uh, the current generation are suffering from what you have been keeping and I came to destroy it. Destroy? That's a joke. Expensive one for that matter. It is a standing and a binding deal. Their blood has attracted bad luck to their destiny. Their sacrifice has attracted spirit. I know. I know. Yes, yes. Um, you look calm and gentle. Mm. Please, what can be done to cancel the sacrifice and silence this voice? It cannot happen. What has been written has been written. It is a covenant. It is a deal. But we were not there when this deal was made. But your generation and the unborn have been bargained and emerged into the deal. So are you saying there's no way out? That's the truth. There? It's me, Philip. Philip? Yes, sir. Philip? Yes, sir. Wait, who, who is there with you? No one. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Roger. Mommy. What's the problem? Why are you not sleeping? I had a dream. I saw you talking to a woman. She said she's the keeper of the sacrifice. Oh, you saw her? Yes. And she said it is never possible to destroy an altar successfully. Or do you believe her? Of course not. You can't believe in anything the devil tells you. He's a liar and the father of it. <sighs> you know what? Go to bed with your glitter. Go to bed. I wish to stay here with you. Hey. <sighs> Okay, lie down. Lie down here. <sighs> I 
I have finally found a means of totally destroying altars. Uh, okay, John. Let's hear it. You see, there are three access points in which the devil and Satan used to assess men. They are covenant, ignorance, and disobedience. Of these three, I want to talk about covenant. Because covenant is the most important one that the devil uses. Because covenants are, you know, empowered by authors and usually rectified by blood. Sacrifice is the offering of an animal or something of great value to deities for protection, vindication, intervention, uh, peace, or anything. An altar therefore has no power until a sacrifice is placed on it. Therefore, sacrifice is the power and the voice of an altar. Because whatever is brought to the altar of sacrifice must die. Gosh. That means a 30-year-old intelligent graduate was sacrificed at the altar. But the voice is speaking up against us. But when was the negotiation made? You see, sacrifice attracts spirits and attention. It gives spiritual privileges. It can either attract the presence of God or devils. It all depends on who the sacrifice is being offered to. Mm. And so therefore, Ma, according to your question, the negotiations are spiritual and so can be voluntarily or involuntarily. Mm. Of godly sacrifice attract demonic spirits and devils into one's life. Why godly sacrifice on God altars attracts God's attention? Just as Noah offered worthy sacrifice to God to appease God's wrath, the sweet smell got to heaven and God changed his mind. Uh, I know of Abraham too who offered his only son on the altar of sacrifice and God made a covenant of blessings with him. What about Solomon who offered 1,000 sacrifices to God? These sacrifices caught the attention of heaven and God had to ask him what he wanted. Even when God wanted to solve the sin problem, he chose the way of sacrifice. You know, with his magnanimity, he could have just commanded and, you know, cast sin out from heaven and it would be done. He did that to show us the solution to stubborn situations. So, what does that mean? So we, are, we are saying that uh, if we must be delivered totally from demonic altars, it is important that we raise an altar of prayer and an altar of sacrifice. And <laughs> that is something that cost us much. You see, when this sacrifice is offered on the Lord's altar, it attracts His presence. And then this sacrifice will counter the other sacrifice. If God could change His mind on an EU, He ordered Himself. Then who is now the devil? He cannot stop. Sacrifice is the answer. The answer. You see, sometimes, what we give as sacrifice, what you call sacrifice, they are just covenant offerings that cost us very little or nothing at all. And that is why this plague, this pattern, these battles have continued and lingered on. Because sacrifice is something very, very important, very special that you find difficult to let go. Something that costs you much. Learning from King Moab and his first son, in the book of 2 Kings chapter 3, from verse 1 to 27. And also David and the plague of death. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 15 to 25. Elijah and 450 prophets of Baal. All these altars that you've been talking about, where are they? Bro <laughs> Mike, any platform where Christ is enthroned is an altar. Any minister or ministry fulfilling God's agenda 
fulfilling divine mandate is an altar. Because when a sacrifice gets to God's altar, gets to this platform, it attracts His presence. And when it comes, He speaks. Ah, I get it now. That means altar against altar. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice against, against sacrifice. sacrifice. And this sacrifice must cost you something. Just like David said, I will not offer a sacrifice to God that cost me nothing. You see, David offended God when he numbered the children of Israel. And then the Lord gave, gave him three options. And he was already serving the third option. But when he offered sacrifice to God, God changed his mind when he saw David's sacrifice. Mm. God will give us the grace to do what it takes. Raising prayer altars, sacrificing in his presence to attract his presence. And you see, it doesn't have to be monetary things, items, properties. Uh, sometimes it may just take you sacrificing his presence in prison worship. Like locking yourself up in his presence, singing and dancing to him to attract his presence. Okay. Uh, because um, you can also lock yourself up to have fellowship with him without touching your phone. It's you know, something that costs you, that costs you, that is sacrifice. That, 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 that is something. Could it be the reason I have not been able to marry at the age of 35 is due to Altars. Now, my elder brother is 40 and not married. So also my sister, not married at the age of 45. Is this not pattern? So we are, we are saying that uh, if we must be delivered totally from demonic altars, it is important that we raise an altar of prayer and an altar of sacrifice. And... <laughs> That is something that cost us much. You see, when this sacrifice is offered on the Lord's altar, it attracts His presence. And then this sacrifice will counter the other sacrifice. Who do I have to give? I will pray now that I know the consciousness of the happenings in my life. I will sacrifice something in His presence to raise a voice. This pattern must stop with me. Uh, Philip, how are you? Bro John, I want to be like you. You are a man that every young lover of God like me can follow. Your message are deep. And did you not see why I said I love you and I need you? Oh, oh glory to God, the giver of all grace. It is the message of God in my life. I give all the glory to God. You took time to explain to me the mystery of deliverance. And you gave a scriptural analysis to back your message up. You said the new altar must be raised to cancel the old one, just like Gideon did. You said the new sacrifice must be offered on the new altar to counter the old sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are right, Philip. But, um, Philip, why are you saying all this? What are you asking? Do you have a question? This sacrifice of a thing. What about those who have nothing to lay down on the altar? Hmm. Good question. God is love. He is not a taker. He's a giver. Hmm. But, you know, He only wants us all to cultivate the habit and attitude of laying all on the altar of sacrifice, just like God did by laying his only son for sacrifice of sin. Exactly why I'm asking. When you don't have money, cars, material things to give, what do you do? You see, when it feels like you want to give God something, and you have nothing to give. You go to his presence and you tell him, Here am I. That's enough. 
You give yourself away as the sacrifice. Mm. Presenting my body as a living sacrifice. Only and acceptable unto God. According to Romans 12 verse 1. You see, when you go to God and offer yourself as the sacrifice in His presence, He tells you, that's enough. And I will give you everything else you need. Because even the money, the cars, the properties, the material things, the praises, the worship, the prayer, all came from Him in the first place. I crave for this deep understanding of the scripture so that I will not join those that perish for lack of understanding. You see, Philip, throughout the Bible, there are only two things that brings down the presence of God. And it's number one, offering his sacrifice in his presence, and then praises and worship in his presence. These two things break down his presence, and it makes him speak and attend to our request. Mm. I understand perfectly. The Lord will help me. Mm. And indeed, we help you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Philip, where are you going to? Are you crying? I'm not crying, no. No, I'm not crying. Uh, um, so where are you going to with all these clothes? I want to sacrifice them to God on the altar of sacrifice. Philip, but well, God doesn't wear this type of clothes now. He doesn't wear your size. But he has children and creatures that wear this type of clothes and that wear my size. How then does it get to God? Or oh, what are you doing? Matthew 25, verse 38. And where did we see you, a stranger, and invite you here? Or needing clothes and clothe you? Verse 40. Inasmuch as you have done it for the least of my brethren, you have done it for me. When I give to God's children, I have given to God. Um, Philip, but at least. There are other clothes, eh? like this ones. Eh? Instead of packing your best clothes and shoes. And David said, Neither will I offer bond offering unto thee that cost me nothing. You must be joking. Okay. Dear, mm -hmm. come and see what your son is doing. I don't understand him. What is he doing? Packing all his best clothes and shoes from his wardrobe. Uh, is he going to wash them or something? No. He is saying he wants to sacrifice them. Giving them to some people. All his best clothes. Only racks are left in it. Sacrifice? What is wrong with this boy? Uh -uh. Philip! Uh -uh. Philip. Philip. Son, are you all right? These are your best clothes. Ah. Are you sure this is what you want to do? You can say pray and God will hear. I choose God's way. I choose the way of sacrifice. I ain't too tired of everything. If someone brought a great sacrifice that put us in bondage, I wish to take my sacrifice to bring us out. I trust this blood. But, but, just, just, just are your best. Dear, leave him. Huh? Let him do what God has laid in his heart to do. Ah, dear. Is that what you're going to say? Ah, these clothes are costly now. Eh? They are his best of clothes. Abby, what will he be wearing? Philip, Philip, please now. Ah, God.
Uh, John, John, please, you have to help me. Everybody, I need your help. You have to help me. It's Philip. Philip? What, what is wrong with him? Philip took every fine clothes in his wardrobe. Fine shoes, new shoes, new clothes. And he went in tears to be given it now to, to strangers. People we don't even know. Huh? What will he be wearing? Ah, no, 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 that's too bad. Has he gone or is he still alive? Oh, why, why would he do? Let's try to no, stop no, him. No, no, you can't do that. You want to stop who is led of God to give? Weren't you the one that taught us the mystery of giving? I thought Philip just won total deliverance. Yes, I did. Huh? But uh, his best clothes, eh? his shoes, the best. He abandoned the rags. Philip has decided to go the way of sacrifice to end this terrible season. What are you even saying? What do we do now? We have we, to do something. We learn from him. Eh? We all learn from him. Ah. We have to learn from him. Ah. We have to learn from him. Hello, sir. All we right. We sir. learn from him. Okay, sir. Ah. We have to learn from him. Ah. Learn from him. See, bro, Mike, let's just leave. Honestly, uh, taking on his best clothes. What are people saying? Um, John, we want to sincerely say thank you for what God has used you for in my life, in that of my family, even the company. Uh, I believe you are God sent. Yes. Um... We want to say thank you for allowing God to use you for us. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, we, we believe your ministry has blessed us tremendously. Yeah. And um, whatever we give now to God's altar for his work, it will be too much. And so uh, myself and my wife, we have uh, decided to sow... Um, this little gift of our jeep for the ministry. Yes. Jeep? No. No, it is no, no. We it, understand you go from one place to the other doing God's work. So I am a husband. Believe that you need it more than we do. No. It's your only functional car. The others are grounded. How do you expect to do official meetings or tours or travels? Go here and there. Oh no, 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 sir. We but don't mind. And this is even uh, a sacrifice that will cost us. Not only for the needed deliverance, but for the expected breakthrough. Mm. So please. Mm. I want you to ask. Ha! Please. Oga no. Ha, please. Oga Jeep. Jeep. Please, please. Oga, uh, how will I be driving? See me driving Jeep no, with her. Who will I? Ah, sa. Sa, sa. Ha, please. Oga. Please. Oga please. no. Ha. Thank you. Oga, no, ha, your only functional jeep, Oga. Thank you, thank you. Ah. God bless you. Ah. Oga, this is huge. This is huge. Ah. Your only functional jeep. Sir, Ma, I appreciate you. The girl whom you have surprised will surprise you. This seed shall be a sweet smelling savor as to attract the attention of heaven to cause deliverance in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, sir. Ha! Huh. Toyota. This is a sacrifice. Toyota. <laughs> thank, thank you. Ah, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you only fortune that Jeep, oh God. Uh, go, 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 we provide another one for you. Amen. In due time, very soon. Amen. Because, ah, uh, Toyota. Ah, huh. good. Sir, sorry, sir. I I have a question. I are you born again? I mean, you and madam. Born again? How do you mean? We we go to church. Ah, sorry, sir. Sir, you are not born again. Ah, I'm sorry, sir. The first sacrifice that God accepts is the sacrifice of your body, your soul, and your life. If that has not been offered to him, then 
Your offering and other sacrifices cannot be accepted, sir. Sir, I, I, I beg you, sir. Sir, I cannot take it, sir. No, it's, it's, I know, sir. Are you rejecting our gifts? The Lord will not accept it, neither will I. Your only reasonable and acceptable service before God is your life being given to God. Then others can follow. But you need a car. But God needs your life. I will never join the multitude of ministers who are just after the gift and the offerings of men without, you know, bothering about their spiritual life and growth. As much as I appreciate your heart, sir, I cannot accept it because it is not acceptable to God. Thank you very much, sir. But then, sir, I wanted to find time and read Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Good, sir. What kind of a man is this? Rejecting such a gift? Romans chapter 12, verse 1. We are going to pray. Oh. The set time of deliverance has come. Oh, yes. Psalm 102, verse 13 says, For the Lord we arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. The set time has come. The season of power has come. Amen. We are in the season of power. Amen. Therefore, we are going to pray. In this season of power, may we not be left out of its manifestation. In the name of Jesus. In this season of power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, for Jesus' name we are praying. We are still praying. We will pray for John. We will pray for Philip. We will pray for everybody around us. We will pray for ourselves that the spiritual empowerment needed to fight and win battles of life. We receive it. In the name of Jesus, we receive it. In the name of Jesus, the spiritual empowerment we need to fight and win the battles of life. We receive it. In the name of Jesus, for Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen, mom. Let us add this one. Okay. That every demonic agency that has been assigned against our victory, in die in Jesus', Jesus in, the name of, in the mighty in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, every, every demonic, demonic agency that has been assigned against, assigned against our, our destiny, against die our in the mighty name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh Lord, take me. Use me for your glory, oh Lord. Just the way you are using bro, John. I have given my heart to the poor and needy. This battle must end with me. I decree and declare that my sacrifice should speak against every other sacrifice speaking against my family. My sacrifice shall begin to speak victory into my destiny. In Jesus' name. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I raise another altar for my life in Jesus' name. I consecrate myself to you. Use me as you are using, bro John. Here I am in your presence Do to me what you want I'm open before you, Lord Do to me what you want Here I am in your presence do to me what you want I'm open Before you, Lord Do to me what you want This is the place Of encounter 
do to me what you want. I'm open before you, Lord. Do to me what you want. Lord, I have come. This is my heart. Ah. Anywhere men meet with divinity alone is an altar by default. I have come. But if you ask me, I brought nothing to you. But I bring myself to you as a sacrifice. Abraham brought Isaac. But I have nothing to give. And that is why I offer myself as a sacrifice. I, I brought myself, my today, my future, all that I am and all that I have. I, I, I offer them to you in advance. I am the sacrifice. I, I, I am the voice. myself away I give myself away to be used for your glory I have no money I have no car I have no house even the one we live in is favor but all that I have and have and will be I bring unto you as a sacrifice Accept me, break me, melt me, mold me, and fill me. I am your sacrifice. I am the Lord your God. Your sacrifice is holy, and I accept you. You changed the strange dimension of you as being brought. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before. Your glorious majesty You're the King of kings and Lord of lords You are the King of kings You're the King of kings and Lord of lords Your royal majesty I beseech you, you therefore, brethren, brethren by, by the mercies of God, that ye you present your bodies a living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God, 
Which is your reasonable service? No. That means only living sacrifices are reasonable. And only holy people are living sacrifice. Now, I know why John rejected our gift. Just because it was not living, and so it cannot be an acceptable sacrifice. Mm. And we are not yet living. Ah. Mm. Oh Lord, I want to live. I want to be a living sacrifice. I want to live for you. A reasonable sacrifice for you, Lord. Lord, <laughs> me too. You want to be a living sacrifice. Yes, that Lord. is acceptable. Yes, Lord. Lord, help us Amen. to do your work. Amen. Why are you disturbing us? Your spirit is a threat to us. It is certainly not my spirit, but the spirit and the attention of God that has been attracted by the sacrifice of my altar. What do you want? Freedom. I want freedom. There is no freedom here. Obviously. It is only the Son of God that can set free. Then if the Son of God wants me free, then I shall be free indeed. Shut up! What do you want? What do you want? Are you deaf? I said I want freedom from all this demonic pattern ravaging in my family. It stops with me. I guess you don't know the price. You don't know the sacrifice. You don't know the negotiation. Where is the sacrifice of Keshiro? He said he wants freedom. He said he wants to cancel the negotiation. That's not possible. Uh, I was kidnapped and killed by your father at the age of 10. <laughs> they threw my parents in trouble. Uh, <laughs> they threatened my death disease. My blood is crying. No, no. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, you good boy. This is wickedness. <laughs> I take responsibility. Uh, uh, this is evil. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, can, can you now see that it will be unfair to ask for deliverance? Can you see? <laughs> Jesus! What is this? What is the meaning of this? Philip, that dream is a very bad dream. It's not a good one at all. Agreeing with the keeper, making friends with your enemy. You should not have compassion on that boy in that realm. What have I done to myself? No, it's not you. It's your spirit man that need to get fired up. Your spirit man need fire. You see, when you find yourself doing things or involving yourself in bad negotiation and agreement, it's just a symbol that your spirit man needs to be fired up. So what are we doing now? I can't imagine myself showing compassion on that little boy. We will pray. His prayer. <laughs> Let's pray. My spirit man. My spirit man. My spirit man. Catch fire in Jesus' name. My spirit man. Catch fire. My spirit man. Catch fire. My spirit man. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power of God. 
Power of God. Power of God. Fall upon my spirit man. Fall upon my spirit man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fall upon my spirit man. 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 Fall upon my What have we come to do this time? To renegotiate, to right my wrongs. I have been ignorant of your devices, but now I now know what is going on. What do you want? I have come to destroy what you have been keeping. Huh? Where is the voice of sacrifice? <laughs> he has come to destroy our negotiation. No way! <laughs> my blood is crying, no! <laughs> it is not a big deal. Blood has been crying since the beginning of creation. Your blood cries for revenge. Abel's blood cried for revenge. But Jesus' blood cries for freedom. Oh, what a blood. Shut up! You can't shut me up. Not when the set time of my deliverance has come. <laughs> but I was punished unjustly. <laughs> I silence every voice speaking against me on every altar in Jesus' name. No! Who do you think you are? What do you think you are doing? Come. Come. Nonsense. Mm. Oh, your worker. I am the keeper of the sacrifice. Sit. Who are you laughing at? Me? Please, I don't have time for that. You have introduced yourself as the keeper of the sacrifice, and I have come to destroy the sacrifice. What gave you so much confidence that you can destroy sacrifice that had been made several years ago? Oh, good question. Jesus. Jesus gives me so much confidence. Where is it documented so that I can burn it down with fire? Young boy, don't talk with me. You cannot destroy the sacrifice and record I have been assigned to keep. Woman, you cannot also stop me from destroying the sacrifice that I have been assigned to destroy. And who assigned you to destroy the sacrifice? You are very unfortunate for asking me that question. Because even at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. But you cannot just destroy the sacrifice. You are guilty. It is legal. It is lawful. I destroy whatever sacrifices, speaking against my family in Jesus' name. <laughs> Is that it? To destroy it in the name of Jesus? <laughs> you this demonic sacrifice, working against my life, be destroyed in Jesus' name. Shut up. Sit. You don't know the rules of engagement. Uh, Philip. What are you waiting for? Bro John, I have tried casting and destroying in the name of Jesus, but it's not working. <laughs> Philip, when it has to do with EU of legal access like this, you don't cast it in the name of Jesus. You engage the blood. It is the blood that speaks. There are rules of engagement. And who are you? Hold on, I'm coming for you. Philip, as powerful as God is. He did not cast sin out of man. He took the blood to cast sin, not the name. So it is the blood that can destroy the sacrifice that has to do with legal grant? Yes. It was the blood of the sacrifice on this altar that made the altar alive. 
just like the blood of Abel was crying, so it is blood for blood. And I say, who are you? I cannot withstand all you are saying. And I said, hold on, I'm coming for you. Don't be in a hurry to destroy what you have been keeping. Uh, Philip, you see, every blood speaks something, but the blood of Jesus speaks better thing. Yes, I'm, I'm ready. Why are you talking about the blood you know nothing about? Oh, I know something about the blood. I know that the blood is one of the witnesses on the earth. Because no one created his own blood. The blood in everybody is typically older than that person. Do you know why? It took the blood to bring you. Therefore, it can never be the same age with you. Ah! Who told you all this? And you know what? We admit that we are guilty. But when the guilty or the accused faces the blood, then the blood becomes the accused and then the accused goes cut free. By the blood of the eternal covenant, I destroy every sacrifices, re-establishing altars in my life in Jesus' name. And every altar that is hindering me from reaching my next level by the blood of Jesus that speak better things be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> That's not possible. Uh, I was kidnapped and killed by your father at the age of 10. <laughs> I decree and declare that my sacrifice should speak against every other sacrifice speaking against my family. I have given my all to the poor and needy. Rajun, that's my voice. How come? Philip, it is not your voice. It is the voice of the sacrifice on your altar. That voice is cancelling the other sacrifice. Philip, Beatrice has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is the deal of the sacrifice. This is the voice of the sacrifice. Take it, take it. see what I saw? It only depends on what you see because I saw victory. Then we both saw well. <laughs> I did not only see victory. I felt the sweet sensation while praying. Victory all the way. Mom? Slept in victory. I woke up in victory. But thanks to God, it gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is time to enforce victory over the devil. You really have to, because you brought him in. What prayer can be made? What sacrifice can be offered? You see, I being his friend is an advantage because I will cover up for him in the spirit. <laughs> I need victory too. Deliverance is about manifesting and establishing the victory given to us by Jesus Christ, not fighting for it. But one thing I'm sure of is that Xerus shall be free. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! I was killed and used for rituals. My blood cries for vengeance. Thank God is your blood. Thank God is your blood. I bring a blood against your blood. That blood is crying freedom. And I plead the blood upon you now in the mighty name of Jesus. What blood are you talking about? What blood? This is 
binding on internal covenant. I stand upon the rock of ages and I decree and declare that Zeros is free from any internal covenant in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I cannot leave him. You lie. I cannot leave him. No way. No way. You lie. No way. You lie. Dude. 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 What do you want? This sacrifice reports you to me that you want to destroy her. I'm happy she knows my mission. That will make the work faster. What is your business? Do you really know what this person has done? I don't really care to know. But one thing I know is that all I've seen and I've come short of the glory of the Lord. What do you mean? They have legal grounds with her. There was a negotiation. Now I bring a renegotiation. When a guilty negotiates with the blood of Jesus, the finished work of the blood makes him free. But the sacrifice is still alive. The voice is still crying. I overcome all of that by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Which testimony? That Jesus Christ has come and has destroyed all the work of the devil. He is the same God back then, the same God right now, standing on that protocol. I silence every voice speaking against Zeros in Jesus' name. Will you stop that? Hold on. Why am I struggling with you? Zeros shall be taken from her, and this legal grant shall be destroyed. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? And the lawful captive delivered? A good question with an established answer. Thus says the Lord, the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with he that contend with you, and your children shall be delivered. Stop it! Tell him to stop it! Stop! Stop saying those words! I will not stop until I have landed. I serve an Alpha God and an Omega God, the one who finishes the work he has started. I proceed, for I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as sweet with wine. Ah, uh, stop! Stop! Stop that! You are destroying the sacrifice. You are silencing your voice. And all the flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 to 26. You are welcome. I am the keeper of the sacrifice. <laughs> Sit. No wonder. I just came to inform you that a sacrifice has been burnt and a voice has been silenced. Did you say sacrifice burnt? And voice silenced. The Lord God Almighty, the uh, one who is strong and mighty in battle. Uh, Thank God you are back. I was scared. Victory has come. We are 
praying together so hot. After much call and response between you and Seros, you certainly went so tired and almost fainting. And so you lay down here. And in a second, you passed out. I didn't just lie down. My spirit was summoned. But now, we have the victory. Eh? What really happened? You see, the voice on their family altar has been silenced. Their sacrifice has been burnt. He's now free. Hallelujah. But why hasn't he woken up? He said to me, Awake unto righteousness and sin not. Mm. Mm. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. Yeah. Hallelujah. I am free. Wow. I am free. A very long time I hadn't speak in his own voice. Mm. Wow, wow. You see, to God be the glory. I need to go. Thank you. Thank you. I am free. Hallelujah. I am free. Yes. I am free. <laughs> yes, I am free. One thing that I learned in this whole face is that. God is faithful and merciful. You see, it's never by anything we know how to do. It's just His faithfulness we enjoy all the way. In that vision, when we could not use the name of Jesus because it is legal access, only the blood worked. <laughs> Philip, you see, there are three weapons of victory when you are fighting the devil. The power of the word, the power of the blood, and the power of his name. Mm, the word, the name, the blood. Yes. And we must know the rules of engagement when fighting the devil or fighting battles. Because the Bible says in the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 that my people perish for lack of understanding. Mm. It's possible for God's own people to perish if they lack knowledge. Okay. Lord, May I never perish. May I sustain the knowledge needed for growth. Jude, how did it go? Ah, you see, Bro John, um, it will always go God's way if we continue to live in God's way. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Elusa. Really? Okay, sir. It's so surprising. My boss at work says he wants to know our house. Really? To come and do what? See, I think this place may not be conducive for him. My leg. Ah. Oh. Yay! Yay! Philip, Philip. Philip, my boy. I'm so proud of you, son. I'm thankful to God every day for giving me a son like you. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm, I'm the luckiest man on this earth. For having a son like you. <laughs> Honestly, to state the obvious, you are older than your age. Mm -hmm. We love you so, so much. Thank you, Dad and Mom. But let us give God all the glory. Hmm. And also thank God in the life of Bro John. Ah, that man deserves every better thing in life hmm. of doing the work of God this way. Ah, why are you here? What's ah. happening? Or do you now know the date and time of our death? My back. I'm quacking to you. Yeah. What are you doing here? Do you now know the date and time you are going to die? Ah. No. Instead. I now know that I will die in seven days' time. Uh -uh. Ah! Seven days? Yes. How do you even know that? 
They told me when I was sleeping. Then you should have asked that person the same question we asked you. That as he or she died and lived again. Oh, there is no time for that. No time. Please, what is the solution? Well, I'm back. Well, I think we should take him to the hospital. Mm. It is well. God will hear you. Is that all you will say? What else do you expect us to say? The only place we take those who are not feeling fine is the hospital. Please, I don't want to go to the hospital. Eh? Please take me to where you went to get to Tavitri. Oh, you know we went somewhere. I, I know. Where was that? We went to Calvary. That is where every good thing flows from. Where is Calvary? Where is Calvary? Oh. Please take me to Calvary. Hey, thank God. Thank you. You know, you are the one we are to thank for what you have done. Give him back to these wonderful children and raising them up in the way of the Lord. We thank God. Mr. John, thank you for everything. We really appreciate your help. Thank you for leading us in the path of righteousness. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, dear, um, this is a confirmation of what the Lord told us. Yes. This. The Lord told you some things? Oh, well, um, I saw a vision. And the Lord showed me this exact house. Yes. And so God laid it in our hearts that we should get a land, build it, furnish it, and um, hand it over to you. Hey! <laughs> 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 Bro John, we are now born again. I hope you can accept our seeds and help. Since you rejected the jeep we gifted you, eh? I feel we should do this. John, you did what? You rejected the jeep? How dare you reject gifts without consulting me first? Am I not your mother? There are some decisions you will not just be taking on your own, no. We need to agree on this. Ah! Bro John, you rejected the jeep. Uh, <coughs> thank you very much, sir and ma. Thank you for your acts of benevolence towards me and my family. I really appreciate you. And as per the landed property that you are led by God to give to us, we accept it. We say thank you and we receive it in good faith. Wow! Ah, that is Very awesome! Ah, that is awesome. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ah, that, that, that's fine, that's fine. Um, as soon as you're ready, we will take you to the land. Okay? It's one of our properties. So we'll take you there and um, we'll start building as soon as you uh, pick your choice, the, the building design you prefer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Sama, for being God. A lot of people's blessings and lifting have been locked up in the loins of some men that have decided not to obey God. In fact, many people who are supposed to be greatly increased still remain small. Why? Because of not being a right distributor. Mm. That's true, Jude. You see, in this kingdom, owners are rebel. Mm. We don't own things in this kingdom. Mm. In this kingdom, we are stewards. And the Bible said, as stewards, we should be faithful. Thank you very much, sir, for being faithful as a steward. Mm. Okay, um, I want you to see us as destiny helpers. Okay? As destiny helpers, okay? Um, we, we are ready to show you and your family the love you deserve. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, what about the company? Oh, the company. 
Uh, the company is restored. Oh, God is Christ. faithful, yes. you know. Yeah. And um, about my wife, because I know you so husky. She has taken it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. God will make your testimony permanent. Amen. 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 Affliction shall not rise again. Amen. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank God. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, How are you? There? Yeah? Yes. There is something I feel the Lord is dropping in my mind. Mm. And um, it's heavy. What is it there? Eh? It's about that boy we saw um, at um, John's place. Um, Philip. Philip? Yes. The Spirit of God is one. Oh, really? But what is your leading? Hmm. Uh, Holy Spirit is impressing in my heart that um, um, we should get him some stuff. Mm. Stuff like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like clothing, shoes? Exactly. Um, probably take care of his education mm. up to university level. Wow. Okay, uh, that, that will be a seed we are sowing for uh, our born children, you know. The Spirit of God is indeed one. Wow. Let's do it. Mm. I concur. Really? I have the same lady. <laughs> That's right, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, and that would be a very good one. Yes. I, I'm, I'm sure they need it. Yes. Huh? I'm sure mm. they need it. A couple with you. Hello? Really? This God is real, only if we can be real with Him. No problem. I will be expecting you, sir. And who was that? Hope there is no problem. No problem. You will all see. Uh -uh. <laughs> I was so surprised when he called me. But I'm more surprised now when I discovered that Oga bought clothes and shoes for him. You see, um, God saw his art and sacrifice and accepted them. When you give God your life as a living sacrifice, he gives you his own life to be in you. Mm. Philip emptied his wardrobe and the Lord filled it. <laughs> well, um, not only that. Um, I have decided with my family that um, we will sponsor his education yeah. wow. up to university level. Hallelujah! Ah. Ah. <laughs> we give our praise really? to God. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. We are, we are very grateful. Thank you so much. We give God praise. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much, oh God, for giving to the Lord by giving to my friend. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17, when you lend and give to the poor, you give to God. And He will repay you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Roger. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you are not just a friend, mm -hmm. but a brother. And I will keep on following you as you follow Christ. Thanks for everything. You're welcome, Philip. God bless you. It's my evangelist. <laughs> Thanks, sir. For giving to the Lord and obeying you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Philip. God bless you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Once again, we are very grateful, sir. And um, Sister Veronica, Bro John, Jude, Jude, Jude. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have never regretted it for, for a day. That you people are living in my house. You've been a great blessing. And I thank God for your life. Ah, we thank God. Thank you, Jesus. All glory be to God, the giver of all grace. We thank God. Mm. Thank you, sir. If you obey and serve him, you shall spend your days in prosperity and your years in players. Job chapter 36, verse 11. Hey, 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 hey,